evaluating and graphing functions. For today's lesson, I am your teacher, Des Tuyu. We have here, at the end of this lesson, the learner should be able to correctly find the value of a function at a given value of x, accurately construct a table of values for a function. To start with, let's define what is table of values. When we say table of values, it is a graphic organizer or chart that helps determine two or more points that can be used in creating graphs. For example, we consider the function f of x is equal to 4x plus 1. The values of the function for the given values of x are shown in the table of values on the right. So we consider the values of x, which is negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. In order for us to know the value of our f of x or the value of our y, we need to substitute the value of x on a given function f of x is equal to 4x plus 1. So, we have, if the value of x is equal to negative 2, then the value of f of x is equal to negative 7. It is because we substituted the value of negative 2 to the variable x on a given function. That, that would be 4 times negative 2 plus 1 that gives us negative 7. If negative 1 is substituted on the variable x on a given function, the f of x gives us the value of negative 3. When 0 is substituted on the given function f of x is equal to 4x plus 1, that becomes 4 times 0 equals 0 plus 1. That's why the value of our f of x is equal to 1. When 1 is substituted on the variable x on a given function, f of x is equal to 4x plus 1, that becomes 5. Why? It is because 4 times 1 plus 1, that becomes 5. Lastly, when we have the value of x is equal to 2, and it would be substituted on the variable x on a given function, f of x is equal to 4x plus 1, that gives us 9. Following a solution that becomes 4 times 2 is equal to 8 plus 1 is equal to 9. That's why our value of f of x is equal to 9. For another example, what if we have the given piecewise function x plus 3 if x is less than 1, x squared minus 6 if x is equal to 1, and lastly, we have the square root of x plus 3 if x is greater than 1. As you, sh as you see in our screen, we have the values when a, x is equal to 0, b, x is equal to 1, and c, x is equal to 3. For our solution, since x is equal to 0 is less than 1, then the given will be we will be using the given on the first expression, f of x is equal to x plus 3. It is because x, the value of x, should be less than 1. So, we substitute the value of 0 in a given expression, then simplify. Our given is f of x is equal to x plus 3, then f of 0 is equal to 0 plus 3, then f of 0 is equal to 3. Remember, substitution or evaluating are just the same. So, you need to substitute or change the value of that variable on a given value. Next, for the solution, since x is equal to 1, we use the second expression. For f of x is equal to x squared minus 6. So, we substitute 1 in the expression, then simplify. Our value of the function is f of x is equal to x squared minus 6, then f of 1 is equal to 1 squared minus 6. So it appears that f of 1 is e 
has the value of negative 5. 1 squared is equal to 1 minus 6 that becomes negative 5. For letter C, the solution will be since x is equal to 3 and 3 is greater than 1, then we use the third expression f of x is equal to the square root of x plus 3. We substitute 3 in the given expression then simplify. Following, the given function is equal to the square root of x plus 3, then we need to get the value of f of 3 is equal to the square root of 3 plus 3, then f of 3 has the value of the square root of 6. We have another example. When we sketch the graph of the given function f of x is equal to x squared plus 2x minus 2. For the solution, we need to take or we need to tabulate some arbitrary values on x. That is why we choose those value of x, which is negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. Actually, we can also have another set of numbers to be substitu substituted on this given value of x. So, for this, uh, to let you show what would be the solution, we have the set of arbitrary values of x, which is negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. So, again, we need to substitute the value of, the, of x on a given function. So, we have when x is equal to negative 2, our f of x has the value of negative 2. When our x is equal to negative 1, then the value of f of x is negative 3. When 0 is the value of our x, then our f of x is equal to negative 2. Okay, to continue, when our x is equal to 0, then it gives us the value of f of x is equal to negative 2. So, when our x is equal to 1, then our f of x is equal to 1. And, when our x is equal to 2, then our f of x is equal to 6. So, rem remember, to obtain the corresponding value of f of x, you have to evaluate the function of the given cho chosen value of x. To sketch the graph of the function f of x is equal to x squared plus 2x minus 2, then we already have the, the values of those ordered pairs. Then, we'll now plot the ordered pairs in a Cartesian plane. So, the set of ordered pairs are negative 2, negative 2, negative 1, negative 3, 0, negative 2, 1, and 1, 2, and 6. For the first ordered pair, negative 2, negative 2, it can be seen on your right side that it is plotted on the third region or third quadrant of our Cartesian plane. Since they both have negative signs. So as with negative 1 and negative 3, still it can be seen on the third quadrant of our Cartesian plane. Again, because they have both negative sign. For the ordered pair 0, negative 2, we can locate it through the y-axis. While the ordered pair 1 and 1, it has or it can be seen on the first quadrant of our Cartesian plane. So as with the ordered pair 2 and 6, that can still be seen on the first quadrant of our Cartesian plane. So seeing, or as you see, our graph is a parabola which opens upward. So remember, when you say table of values, it is a graphic organizer or chart that helps determine two or more points that can be used in creating graphs. So, for the further discussion or if you have any questions, just have me, uh, 
have a chat or PM me for your questions and your concerns. Thank you for watching. I hope you can learn from my simple video lesson. All together, let's have happiness in learning. Do not forget to please like, share, and subscribe and hit the notification bell for more updated videos. I am your teacher desk to you and thank you once again for watching my video.